Took off the oil pump yesterday, but didn't need to. So I put it back on last night. And now we're gonna do something else. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilsa's YouTube channel. So I want to pull the camshaft out tonight with you, and we'll get that out of the way, and we'll see how easy it comes out. Not sure I have to remove this plate or not. I could always look on YouTube, but I'm going to try to figure this one out for myself. I'm pretty sure that it has to come off. But what I want to try to do, and instead of putting dowels in here to hold the lifters up, I'm going to try to take these out and just pull the lifters right out so we can give them a clean job while they're apart. Frick, might as well since the heads are off. So we'll undo this sucker, and hopefully uh, everything just lifts right out of here, but I don't know, because I've never done this before. I'm sure some of you in the comment section there have done this before, and you probably know how it's done, but I don't, so we're gonna do it like this. So that came out pretty easy, it did. We'll clean them when we put them back in, but for now, we're just gonna take them out. Oh, I see how they hold them from stopping and turning. Oh, well, actually, if I slide them up, they kind of stay. Ooh, eh, ooh. Ooh, that was sticky. What's really going on? Got one little stick in here. Eh, nothing like a stick job. Well, let's see what happens here if we turn that a little bit and give it a little bit of a pull job. So let's pull this front plate off. We'll take a gander behind her. Oh yeah, hey. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's even a seal in there there is. For the old oil inch. Look at it. Oh, oil's package. That's friggin' decent. Hoping I can just take a pick tool and kind of pull these up. Wow, some of them are pretty sticky. Holy. Well, they're all staying up though. I don't know if I like this too much. So that's where they're talking about putting the dowels through there and it holds the lifters up. We'll pull these covers out so we can take a look at them. So those are all up. So let's check the other side. As you can see, they're all up in the air they are. Never rush these things. Always take your time. All right, so there we go. So now I'll take a look in here. And let's move this over just a hair. So as you can see in here, what I'm doing is I'm just kind of grabbing it and pulling them up to the surface and see if they stay. So that will stay, that will stay, that will stay, that will stay, that stays, and that stays. So they all stay up except for the one, but he even stays. So there you go. Got some uh, airline tubage, which might work better. So we got a little bit of a cock on her. So we gotta get this straight as possible. Nothing like a good bend. That's not even near the lifters. How's that even holding them up? What's really going on? Yeah, that ain't holding the lifters up. Well, I can see the lifters. It just kind of catches the edge of them, which is possible, I guess. Oh, well, we'll try it, see what happens. You know what worked better? The engine was upside down. The engine is upside down, they can't fall down, can they? All right, let's do it this way. So, let's pull the can out. If it will come out, let's find out. No, oh, we still have a lifter in the way. 100% for sure. So those are all down. Down. All right, let's try this again. So now they're all down. It still doesn't want to come out. Very weird. It's all in the way you hold your tongue, Jim. I'm gonna take a break in a minute because this just ain't cooperating at all. What a dick. Oh, God. Let's try a little bit more leverage. We need something bigger. Bigger is sometimes better. Let's try this. I'm pretty sure we still have a lifter that's being a cop. Because I'm pretty sure we still have a lifter that's just being out of the way. So I figured out a couple things. The reason why I can't get these lifters to sit right is because they're varnished up. So I had to spray all the lifters with brake clean, and now I'm gonna try to wiggle them all out of the friggin' holes, Jim. Which is gonna take me a while, but that's what's going on. I have some that are got quite a bit of goop buildup, and it's stopping me from getting the lifter to its highest point. 
So that's not good. That means the engine's a little bit burnished up. We're gonna get them all out and clean them up and make sure they're good to go because I ain't gonna leave them in the engine if they're like this because this is ridiculous. So what you gotta do is just turn and wiggle back and forward and brake clean the hell out of them until the varnish wears off and they'll slowly come out. Oh, like that. See, that one just wedged itself right in. That's crazy. Thank God I have extra lifters from Trevor because I might need them after this friggin' deal. Like they're just cocked right in there. It's like this one's slowly coming. As the brake clean breaks down the tarnish, we'll get her to come up here in a minute. Watch. Here it comes. There you go. All right? So the varnish gets in here and it stops them from moving around. As long as you get them in a good spot, we should be all right. Now when you do get them out, these crush rings, you end up screwing up the crush rings a little bit that hold the lifter together. So just give them a bend out and put them back in and make sure they're in there good. I'm gonna go through the other lifters and see if there's anyone's better, but these are pretty good. They're just dirty. So there we go. So make sure you just put them in your caps where they belong. Make sure the roller looks good and just keep freaking going. I was getting pretty irritated there for a while, this thing, I'll tell you. And I'm like, why is this friggin' not coming out? Well, that's what it was. It's the lifters just, just a little bound up they were. And I couldn't figure out why the lifters wouldn't come out from the top. Because it just didn't make sense to me. And that's why. These got tarnished. A little tarnish action. So I'm glad I'm taking them out, to be honest with you. Because, of course, if they're tarnished, that means they're sticking a little bit. And that's no good. Oh, dick. Blew them up, Captain. I barely get these very tight. If you're wondering why I keep coming off, it's because I'm not. I'm trying not to hurt the lifter. So I just got barely on a nice flat surface here. Ah. Just make sure you grab where the uh, the notches on here. You don't want to grab here. As long as you make sure you grab where that notches, you shouldn't hurt the lifter. Is what I've read. Even though I don't know how to read, Jim. Almost there for number four. You can slowly feel it starting to work. There we go. See? Oh, I forgot to check. Yep, the ring's out. Don't get sidetracked. Make sure you check your ringage. Last thing you want is your lifter head to come apart. A lot of guys would say, yeah, put new lifters in it. Yeah, I probably could, but I mean, this is a budget build. That one's real bad. Better give these another squirt. Careful. That's amazing how that tarnish builds up in there. You can't even get a lifter out. Let's let one sit for a bit. We'll go on to the next one. Holy crap, man. There we go. Oh my god. We're down to one. This is what you call high quality fuel we drive nowadays in our vehicles. It causes tarnishing. Only the best. Great fuel. There we go. I'll do the other side now the same way and I'll be back. All right, so we finally got all the lifters out and I sprayed them all down with some more uh, brake clean and we're gonna clean all them up before we get them back in. But at least they're all out now. But I'm telling you, Jim, that was not easy. Frig, no it wasn't. And I made more of a mess below the engine as you can see here. At least they're out and we'll uh, lube up the chambers here just to get them as cleaned out as possible. And now the cam should slide right out without a problem. Because I'm pretty sure last time we were trying there and I was getting all frustrated at you. I had some stocky lifters I did. Before we pull this cam out, I just want to bring to your attention, don't forget to uh, subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell at the top there and be notified when there's new videos out. Why the frick wouldn't you? Let's see if we have success now on getting this camshaft out of the block. Which I'm pretty sure it should walk right out, Jim. It'll be tarnished too, so it's going to give me a little bit of a fight, but she'll come. Here it comes. Here it comes. And there we go. Yeah, we friggin' did. So there's the old camshaft. It's got a little bit of wear on it. Pretty sure it's because the lifters are being decked. Lifters will be mint when I'm done. So there we go. I finally got a cam removed in the old LS for you. So hopefully you enjoyed this little bit of a struggle video, but you don't learn until you try. And I know damn well there's tons of you on there that are knowing exactly why I wasn't having much luck. It's too late now. I figured it out. So thanks a lot. Just in case you put a comment down. But break clean to unstick your lifters and take off the crap so they come out. And then pull your cam out. So there you go. I'd recommend actually pulling all the lifters out when you do a cam change and cleaning them up after seeing that. 
So if you're doing a cam change, I know it's hard because the heads aren't off, but man, oh man, I don't know. I think I'd, uh, you'd have a hell of a time doing a cam swap if you didn't have the heads off and you had gummed up lifters like I did. You wouldn't be able to get the cam out. Maybe with the dowels in, but who knows. I'm sure it's not good for the lobes on the cam either if the lifter's really stucky in the hole. Frig no. So I'm quite happy I pulled this apart, to be honest with you. Because when I put her back together, she's going to be mint. And I'll tell you one thing, it's getting freaking cold out here tonight. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. And hopefully you learned something from the dirty old Belsif. I know damn well I learned something from you guys' comments. So I really appreciate them comments. Everything like that. So have a good night. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And you know what to do for now.